Well, good morning, everybody. We're gathered here this morning to celebrate one of life's greatest moments, to give recognition to the worth and to the beauty of love, to add our best wishes to the words which shall celebrate Sarah and Brett's commitment to one another, and to give thanks for their greatest gift in their lives. Quite literally, with the horizon, our walls, the sky, our ceiling, and this beautiful Mother Earth, our floor, we're meeting here at sunrise amongst nature at the sacred site of Stonehenge for one reason, to affirm your love. So welcome to this sacred place and circle for Sarah and Brett's International Hand Fasting Ceremony. It's wonderful to see friends and family from the United States of America, Belgium, Canada, Denmark, Holland, Italy, Uganda, not here, no, but we're thinking of you in Uganda, <laughs> Kenya, Sweden, and of course those of you from the UK. Now this might be a first experience for some of you. How many is it a first experience of a hand fasting? Oh yes, brilliant. <laughs> it's a long held spiritual tradition for two people who wish to share their lives together. It can take on many different shapes and forms, but today it's the one that Sarah and Brett would like to have performed, expressing their commitment to each other with all of you gathered here to witness. So first we're going to open the circle and ask for protection, and then Sarah and Brett will make their vows to one another before the age-old tradition of having their hands tied together. Hand tying is a symbol of those vows that will remain with Sarah and Brett throughout their lives together. Let us take a moment to feel ourselves arriving here. Look around the sacred landscape revered by our ancestors for countless generations. Ceremonies have been held here for thousands of years. Let us connect with the energies that flow be beneath our feet. Spirits of this beautiful place, please accept our presence and protect this gathering here today for this ceremony, which is for a hand fastening of two beautiful people who have chosen this special place to speak openly and publicly of their love for one another. I call to all our ancestors of line and blood. We would not be here today, but for all you have done in your lives, world in the past, we ask you to be present at this hand fasting for Sarah and Brett. To those ancestors who have lived and walked upon this ground, we greet you with warmth and we ask that you too stand amongst us and protect this ga gathering. We bid you all whole and welcome. Now that we're all gathered and our ancestors and spirits of this place are with us, it's time to begin the main part of this sunrise event, the binding and the joining of Sarah and Brett. In many cultures, it's believed that the human soul shares characteristics with all things divine. And it is this belief which assigned virtues to the four cardinal directions, east, south, west, and north, represented today by your family and friends. Each of these blessings from the four cardinal directions emphasizes those things that will help you build a happy and a successful union together. So we're just going to distribute the elements. You ready? So the feathers to Arabella, fire to Alan, to Tim. Thank you. And to Shelley. So 
I'm going to ask you please to together to repeat after me. We ask protection. We ask, we ask protection, protection for all the ones we love. For all the ones we love. We honor all creation. We honor all creation as we pledge as we pledge our hearts and lives together. Our hearts and lives together. We honor earth. We honor earth and ask for our marriage and ask for our marriage to be abundant to be abundant and grow stronger and grow stronger through the seasons we honor fire we honor fire and ask that our union and ask that our union be warm and glowing be warm and glowing with love in our hearts with love in our hearts we honor air and wind we honor air and wind and as we sail through life and, and as, as we, we sail through life, quite literally, <laughs> <laughs> and calm as in the arms of the universe, and as calm, calm as, as in the arms of the universe, universe. we honour water, we honour water. water, again quite literally, <laughs> to clean and soothe our relationship, to clean and soothe our relationship, that it may never thirst for love, that it may never thirst for love. With all the forces of the universe, with all the forces of the universe, we pray for harmony, we pray for harmony, and true happiness, and true happiness, as we forever, as we forever, grow young together. Grow young together. Above you are the stars, and below you are the stones, and as time does pass, remember, like a stone your love should be firm. Like a star your love should be constant. Let the powers of the mind and the intellect guide you in your marriage. Let the strength of the wills bind you together. Let the power of love and desire make you happy. And the strength of your dedication make you inseparable. Be close but remain individual. Possess one another, yet be understanding. Have patience with one another, for storms will come, but they will pass quickly. Be free in giving affection and warmth. Have no fear, and let, no, let not the ways of the unenlightened give you unease, for love is with you always. Now we've come to the part in the ceremony where I've got to ask you two really important questions. Do you both come of your own free will and accord? We do. we do. Are you accompanied with the blessings of your families? We are. Four questions. Will you honour and respect one another and seek to never break that honour? We, we will. Will you share each other's joy and ease each other's pain? We, we will. will. Will you share the burdens of each other so your spirits may grow in union? We, we will. Will you share each other's laughter and look for the brightness in life and the positive in each other? We, we will. will. Can you take that for us? Mm -hmm. Now this is the part of the ceremony where the expression tying the knot originated and bonds of holy matrimony. <coughs> so I'm going to invite the pair of them to take one end of this cord each and to tie a knot right at the end over the little rubber band that's on there and we'll remove the band later. Okay, so I'm sorry it's not quite gold, it's the nearest I could that's get. Lovely. Nice and tight. <laughs> That's good. Okay. That is not going to come undone. And neither is that. Okay. So, uh, I want to make sure everybody sees it, so I'll keep stepping back to make sure that everybody can see what I'm doing. So if you hold each other's hands as you would do normally, is it going to be alright to go over that? Yep. Okay, can you see it's just on there loosely at the moment. Is that tight? Yes. Oh. 
<laughs> In other words, the answer was no. Is that tight? Yes. <laughs> okay. I'm done. Right. Right. I'm done. Nice to have met everybody. <laughs> <laughs> now, the promises that you make today bind your lives together with sacred words and eternal bonds. Sarah and Brett, your hands are now bound together. Your lives are joined in a union of love and of trust. The knots on this binding symbolize the vows that you have made. May the knot of love remain forever tied. May these hands remain forever blessed. May they have the strength to hold on tightly during the storms of life, which I guess will happen quite a bit for you mm. out in the open sea. <laughs> Only on the sea. May they remain tender and gentle as you nurture each other. May your hands build a relationship of love, caring, and utter devotion. May you, Sarah, and Brett see each other's hands as healer, protector, shelter, and guide. I'd like you to repeat, please, together after me, the very ancient Celtic wedding vow. You cannot, you cannot possess me. You cannot, you cannot possess, possess me. For I belong to myself. For I belong to myself. But while we both wish it, but while we both wish it, I give you that, I give you that, which is mine to give, which is mine to give. You cannot command me, you cannot command me, for I am a free person, for I am a free person. You're all witnessing this. I pledge to you. I pledge to you. It will be your eyes. It will be your eyes. Into which I smile. Into which I smile. Every morning. Every morning. I pledge to you. I pledge to you. My living and my dying. My living and my dying. Each equally in your care. Each equally in your care. I shall be a shield for your back. I shall be a shield for your back. And you for mine. And you for mine. I shall not slander you. I shall not slander you, nor you me, nor you me. I shall honour you, I shall honour you, above all others, above all others. This is my wedding vow to you, this is my wedding vow to you. This is the marriage of equals, this is the marriage of equals. You are now handfasted as one, let no one come between you, and may your union be one of love, respect and consideration to each other and all living things from this day forth. Later, when you remove these bindings, be reminded that you can always, you can not always be physically tied to e each other, but your vows will always remain with you. Okay, you're now going to go on a little journey. Yes. So. Your journey begins here in the east, where all things have their beginning. As the sun rises and it begins its journey through the sky, so shall your lives together. <laughs> the east is the direction of communication. The whispers of the wind speak of magic and honesty between all things. Hear the magic that our union creates. Close your eyes and hear the words of the wind. Now you have heard the wisdom of the winds. As you may now have insight you didn't have before, do you wish to continue this journey? Okay. We do. Yeah. Thank goodness. Okay, <laughs> follow me. Next level. Your journey now brings you to the south, where the fire of passions and strength burn. As the fire burns and grows in intensity, so shall your love and commitment to one another. The south is, direct, is the direction of strength and passion and of love. The warmth of the fires that burn within this candle 
can also burn within your hearts and minds. Feel the magic that your union creates. Look into each other's eyes and feel the warmth and passion of your love. If you could just hold that a moment. Both of you have taken this candle. We bless you with clear vision that you may see the reality of your life together. We bless you with the will necessary to make your union work. And we bless you with passion for each other and for your journey through life together. Do you still wish to continue this journey? We do. We do. Follow me. <laughs> Your journey now brings you to the west, where the gentle waters are the essence of all life. As the waters cleanse and soothe all things in love, so shall you do for each other. <laughs> <coughs> Morning. <laughs> the West is the direction of purification, peace, and love. The cool liquidity of water can purify and heal the pain of the past and allow for the rebirth of new and stronger love. Feel the coolness of the water and accept the magic that it has to share with you. Your journey is almost complete. Once completed, your lives together will have the opportunity to be filled with magic, love, peace and joy. But we'll also be challenged with the lessons of the darkness. Do you wish to continue? Yes, yes we do. Follow me. Your journey now brings you to the last point on the wheel, the north, where the forces of the earth forever seek to keep the balance in all. And the earth, that, and the earth seeks balance, so must you both seek the balance within your relationship, never allowing it to dominate it, never allowing it to dominate it by one or the other. The north is the direction of stability, grounding and fertility. From the womb of the Great Mother come all things, both good and bad. The lesson that she has to offer us is that while we seek to keep the balance, that balance must also include the experience of the hills and the valleys of life. Just as there are calm and quiet periods, there will also be harsh and rough periods that will challenge the foundation of your lives together. Take this stone and feel the smooth and the rough and know that with nurturing and strength, this stone was made to be as it should be, in balance. Thank you. I ask you now to embrace each other and feel the strength of the other. Know that the strength you now feel will be the strength that you can rely on during the periods that will challenge you in the days ahead. I ask you again, prize you apart, <laughs> do you wish to continue this journey? Do you follow me? So just, that's it. So now we have journeyed back to the east, to the beginning. From this point, we now travel to the centre of the circle. This night shall mark the night of your birth. This night you were born together, and with this day you will be together, if the fates will it, forevermore. Finally, do you wish to continue this journey? We do. Come with me to the centre. May I have the rings, please? <laughs> <laughs> well, 
<laughs> it's some kind of a magnet. I'll give you that back if I may. I charge these rings in the name of the old ones, the ancients, the sun, the moon and the stars by the powers of earth, of air, of fire and water. I banish any negative energy. I make these rings new and fresh. I consecrate these rings and make them yours and yours alone. The circle itself, it's an infinite thing. It's magical, it's never ending, never changing, and yet it's always adaptable. A ring with no beginning and no conclusion. Like the circle, true love itself is infinite. It goes on, knowing no boundaries, no restrictions. It flourishes and it blooms in the light and in the dark. True love lays down no ultimatums. It makes no demands at all. Love in its infinite form is something that cannot be forced. It cannot be taken away. It's a gift that we give to ourselves and an honor we give to others from the bottom of our hearts and our souls. So I want you to look into each other's eyes and in doing so, Brett, if you would place that ring on Sarah's finger and I'm going to ask you a question as you do so. Do you promise to show Sarah your honor and fidelity, to share her laughter and joy, to support and stand by her in times of difficulty, looking at her, not me, <laughs> to dream and hope together with her, and to spend each day loving her more than the day before? I do. <laughs> Sarah, please give Brett this ring. Do you, Sarah, promise to show Brett your honour and fidelity, to share his hopes and dreams, to laugh with him and share endless days of joy, to stand side by side with him in times of trouble and to spend each day loving him more than the day before? You have spoken the vows and performed the rites which unite your lives. You have declared that you will live your lives together as one. You have made special promises to each other which have been symbolized by the joining of hands, taking of vows and giving and receiving of rings. It therefore gives me extreme delight and pleasure to pronounce you handfasted as husband and wife. May your love endure so its flame will always remain your guiding light. Please seal your promises with a kiss. Okay, let's take that. Ladies and gentlemen, you're all looking so serious. <laughs> <laughs> Ladies and gentlemen, I present to you Sarah and Brett, handfasted as one. <laughs> now, I hope you've got your cameras, any video set up that you want to have done because this really is the most amazing photographic opportunity. In a moment, Sarah and Brett are going to jump the broom. <laughs> it's a very traditional part of the hand fasting ceremony. This couple have confirmed their beautiful and perfect union. 
And now, as they jump into their future life together, I ask them to remember the power to continue creating the future lies in their hands. Are you ready for this? Not too high. <laughs> <laughs> okay, here we go. <laughs> but you look fit. <laughs> Would you do the honours? You hold that. J just hold it, just like that, where it is. Okay, so when you're ready, jump together. One, two, three. I've got the guard watching. <laughs> I'm missing out the learning cup because I've got the guard yes. watching yes. 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 outside the circle. Yeah. Okay. <laughs> so we're going to close this ceremony with a beautiful, very ancient Apache wedding blessing. <laughs> now you will feel no rain, for each of you will be the shelter for the other. Now you'll feel no cold, for each of you will be the warmth to the other. Now you are two persons, but there is one life before you. Go now to your dwelling, to enter in the days of your life together, and may your days be good and long upon this earth. Now, have you enjoyed this, ladies and gentlemen? Yeah. yeah? You'll notice that there's something that remains undone, they're still tied up <laughs> okay and they are probably thinking that this is the moment where I'm going to untie the knot if that is what they're thinking they're so mistaken it's not going to happen now in the olden days just to give you a little bit of a history lesson in the olden days if this ceremony had taken place sunrise the couple, and it would have been probably out in the open fields or in the blacksmiths over the anvil, the couple would have had their hands remained tied until midnight that night so that they could get used to working with each other. <laughs> and that means you do everything during the day, and that's everything yeah, together, okay? <laughs> now, it, it's a lovely morning. We've got no rain. The sun looks as if it might come through the clouds but not every day is like this in life in reality yeah we do have the clouds and sometimes storms creep in we hope that won't be for very long when it does happen so life is sometimes a little bit of a struggle so right now i invite you to struggle to get out of those cords without untying the knots. <laughs> oh, really? <laughs> yeah, really. Are we allowed to use the other hand? Yeah, she can use the other hand. Oh, oh, that's cheating. Yeah. <laughs> okay, can I just borrow that for a moment? So, this is a little keepsake for them. I'm just making sure those knots are well and truly tied. Little keepsake for them. Should a day arise when a storm comes in that knocks our emotions sideways, go back and take a look at this cord and let it remind you of all of the weeks and months of planning your trip to the UK, to visiting Stonehenge and how you both felt inside. Get back in touch with those emotions that you're experiencing right now and those storms are going to fly out of the window and the sun will shine. Bless you both. Thank you. Thank you everybody. That's it. Now just please remember we've got, uh, oh you've got another 20 minutes or so. Just don't touch the stones or sit on the stones. No kissing them however much you want to, but you're welcome now to use this as a great photographic opportunity. Uh, enjoy the experience. Okay. Okay, everybody. The special permission granted. We have got some elderflower mead here. Oh, lovely. And this is what we call a loving cup and they're going to toast each other's health. So if you hold that breath, 
and offer it to Sarah and take a sip. Okay. Or a gulp, because there's a lot of it. I don't want to take it home. <laughs> and what I'm thinking of is all your memories of the past as you're taking that sip. Now you take a sip, Brett, and you think of all of your memories of the past and what brought you together. Is that good? <laughs> nice. Now, Sarah, take another gulp <laughs> and think of what you're doing here today. Get back in touch with those emotions and you're toasting each other's health for today. And the same with Brett to toast your memories for today. Mm. You'll get one more gulp. My goodness. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> right, and finally, finally, this is toasting your health for the future, for all of those years that are lying in front of you with those stormy seas and lightning and all the rest of it. I've got to finish it. <laughs> you, know he's, you know he's got to, they live on a boat. <laughs> <laughs> this is one of the best laxatives that you could ever <laughs> Congratulations. Thank you. That was wonderful. Did you enjoy it? Oh, it was yeah. great. Yeah, thank you very much. Oh, thank you.